Hey guys, it is DGD, Dull Gamer Dill, and welcome back to another part to this Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways Let's Play video. So, the last part, we did not finish Chapter 1. We got to the church, and um, it was kind of dicey. So, let's try to see if we can solve this puzzle. We got all the pieces for the um, the mask. They are all together. So now, let's solve the light puzzle. Keep in mind, the light puzzle is different in this game, in this mode, than in the main story. So, let's go. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's that. I really don't remember the light puzzle. <laughs> that is not it. No, that's not it either. That's not it either. Um, but we're close. I think. Yes! We got it! Alright guys. Lord Sutler. Um, you know what? Never mind. I was gonna skip through it because we if you already watched the video from the main story, um, you don't really have to watch this part. This is just everyone going? the poor going. quality version of it because I guess the game developers when they ported this game over they just never developed the separate ways cutscene, so yeah. With that being said, we finished the um, first chapter of Separate Ways. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family Castellans for generations possess the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. Mm. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. Oh. Well, that was report number one. And as you see, we have one... About five more reports to go. Before we finish her... Ah, uh, mode. Now, moving on to Chapter 2 of Separate Ways. Have an irregularity. The researcher we planted has been discovered by the Illuminados. 
You must be talking about that vagrant Spaniard. So where is he now? He's held captive in an abandoned house located northeast of the village. Until he recovers the sample, we can't let him die. You don't need to remind me. Luis, Sarah. And I thought I was high maintenance. This is chapter two, Rescue Luis. And we find ourselves in this quaint little home, yet again. And our chainsaw friend is out there. Hey, chain. Hey, Dr. Salvador. How you doing? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's open his... Yeah, I don't know why they never updated the um the cutscenes for separate ways. I mean, watching those scenes with that type of quality would give people headaches. Not any old headaches, migraines even. Alright, so I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna get some of the stuff here. Yeah, uh, we are not that looking too great on handgun ammo, so I'm really hoping we get some more. But we do have a whole bunch of, um, shotgun ammo, as well as, uh, TMP ammo. So I'm gonna shoot this. Get the brass pocket watch. So, just keep in mind that um, the enemies on, for whatever reason, the enemies on separate ways are a lot stronger and faster on Ada's part. I guess they were probably just never updated. Because I did not expect them to get up so fast. And a lot of them got up, like, oh, it's like, as soon as you shoot them and they go down, they get up just, like, instantaneously. As if they were never shot. Whereas on Leon's part... You shoot them and they go down. Like, they completely stay down. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that, but... Uh, it is what it is. Let's try to see if we can manipulate or organize a bit. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Merchant. Welcome. And now we can sell our Got a selection of what are you selling? Um our mask. Ah. <laughs> you can also ah. sell the pocket watch <laughs> and you. is that all <laughs> that. Thank you. So fifty three thousand, that's not bad. It's not great. Um What are you buying? We can get the attach the attache case only because we're gonna need a bigger Is case in the long run. <laughs> Thank you. Because and eventually we're gonna get the rifle and this is the only other oh yeah, and other than the crossbow, this is the only other weapon that Ada really gets that's like really good. Come back any time. Yeah. I don't know why. I g I guess they just wanted to make Ada's part a lot more difficult because that was kinda crazy. Cause I was just so used to shooting them and then them going down, so it really messed up my uh, game strategy. So let's try to conserve as much ammo as possible in this part. And keep in mind that the enemies, the amount of enemies in this playthrough are much different than in um Leon. So there are some gun some enemies that will probably be like for example the guy that was in here before yeah 
it was changed to um her and come over here awesome a golden chicken egg I'm getting a whole bunch of chicken eggs I know that's right Ooh. all right so let's see if we can get over get back over or get over to the next our next place I just realized, yeah, the typewriter isn't here, so, yeah, um, you don't have to fight Dr. Sal uh, Salvador if you don't want to. Honestly, I'm thinking about just running through because I'm not the, I'm not looking the greatest in terms of, uh, ammo, ammunition, so, because I've only got like eight shots, yeah. You know, this game just never gives you a break. Wow, it's quiet. For the first time, it's quiet. Like I said, I'm just trying to save on as much ammunition as possible, so... If I don't fight the enemies, I'm so sorry. I know you guys like to see that, but... Uh... You're gonna come over here. Like I said, I don't remember all of the parts for separate ways. I honestly don't even remember where all the enemies are for this part. I know there end up being more enemies um, in certain parts, so I might be a little bit more hesitant. I'm just going to save real quick. <clears throat> Great. Alright, uh, let's try... I want to get that spinel, so... <laughs> ah, jeez. Okay, you know what? So, 
for right now, I'm just gonna look around to see if there's just anything around in terms of ammo, ammo, because I really am desperately needing some handgun ammo right now. But it's weird because these games always give you like a buttload of handgun ammo, and of course now when you need it the most, they don't want to give it to you. <laughs> huh. It's weird like that. I don't know why. Uh, I think we lured out all the en except for that guy over there. Uh, I think we lured out basically all the enemies. Cause they all just came flocking together, so yeah. I guess. So similar to the first chapter, I might not be able to do all of chapter one or chapter two in one whole, uh, in one whole, um, <clears throat> recording. So I apologize for that if I have to cut it off before the chapter ends. Got a gold bangle, nice. Okay. Alright, so now, let's get back in here, because now we need to use the hook shot. Probably Ada's best equipment throughout the whole, um, throughout her whole part. Uh, that's all that was up here, so now we jump back down. Ah, jeez. Did not see those bear traps, even... Though they were scattered about, I did not see them. Sorry, y'all, sorry. So don't worry. Unlike Leon's part, you don't have to worry about any boulders randomly falling out of the sky. Uh, yeah. But we can come up here, so I will do that. But watch out, because we got two enemies we need to take care of. Here is where we will get the beer stein. Um, okay. I don't remember all of the areas where the beer stein is, uh, where the cat's eyes are located. Um, if I'm correct, we get a majority of them during chapter, um, during the night section of chapter two, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, I really hope we find them all in this part, though, because it would suck if we didn't. So our friends with the dynamite sticks are back. Let's see if we can... Dang it! I'm trying to see if I can shoot the dynamite.
You know what? It takes a very steady hand, y'all. Oh, yo. Oh, lord. I did not see him. See? You really gotta listen out. Oh, I was trying to see if he was going to throw another one. Oh, jeez. This is not going the way I thought it would. Where are all of them coughing, coming from? I'm just trying to listen out, just in case. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, they got my boy Lewis and Leon. My boys, I should say. Alright, so now I need to make my way back to the, um, the cabin. But, first, uh, okay, I think I'm gonna cut it off here because I only got maybe about five minutes. So, thank you guys so much for watching this, uh, part of, for watching this video. Um, if you like, you can follow my Instagram and as well as my Twitter, as well as, 
excuse me, like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more content. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and this is DGD signing out.